As Nigeria joins the global community to commemorate the 2022 World Day Against Child Labour, the need to tackle rising number of out-of-school children has been stressed. According to experts, it's Toga of the country with the highest number of out-of-school children in the world can be removed the, by implementing policies for improved family livelihoods and better access to quality education. Senior correspondent Sharon Jason reports on this. The World Day Against Child Labour is a commemoration sanctioned by the International Labour Organization, ILO. It was first launched in 2002 with the aim of raising awareness and activism to prevent child labour. Slavery Child Trafficking Debt bondage, forced labor, children in armed conflict, and those working in illegal activities are considered to be some of the worst forms of child labor. Hazardous work is another form of child labor that the world is battling with. As argued by experts, such practices should not be done by any child under 18 years, even if he or she is over the legal minimum working age. In my quest to tell the story of a rising number of out-of-school children in Nigeria, I met with Tokwe Ajewali, not his real name, a 17-year-old boy who dropped out of school at the age of 15 to become an apprentice. He is also a child hawker who sells nose masks on the streets of Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. It's that way they don't start COVID-19. I know they said this uh, nose mask, but. So we not if we sell no smash, we use and eat because we cannot share we know it's me. We eat now. And we are four in number with my mommy, we are making five. And it's the no smash that we are using and eat. There's no any work in my mommy hand. If I can say any place that can help me, I will be happy. For him, going back to school to write his senior school certificate examination is a desire, but his mother cannot afford it. There's no money with my parents and I suppose don't do my work on uh, 2021, but there's no much money in my mommy hand. That is why I'm Muslim, but me, I was so, I was stressing myself so that I can save money, so that I will be able to go to school by myself. I want to study uh, building engineering, uh, civil engineering, so that all the our road, so I will be able to be constructing everything. All the uh, road that is not good, not bad road, I will be able to construct it. <laughs> The ILO marked this year's World Day Against Child Labour with a the theme, Universal Social Protection to End Child Labour. Policymakers need to create social protection systems that reach all children, and in particular, those more vulnerable to child labour. These systems need to be put in place alongside measures to ensure decent work for adults and quality education for all children. Yes, this will require investment, but countries will reap the benefits of a fully educated and skilled workforce. The choices that governments make now will make or break the lives of millions of children today and in the future. Despite the country's pledge to increase the annual budget for education, the challenge is yet to be tackled. 
child labor is a complex and systemic problem in Africa. According to research, it is impossible to point to one single cause. Poverty, natural disasters, conflict, lack of quality education, remoteness and tradition are some of the most common factors driving children into child labor. As the world celebrates International Child Labor Day, there is a concern about the rising number of out-of-school children in the country. Many stakeholders hope that relevant authorities will do the needful to reduce the number to the barest minimum, which currently is pegged at 10.5 million. Building capacity in communities, improving family livelihoods, and increasing access to quality education and skilled training for children and youth remain the solutions to ending child labor across the globe. For people like Tope Ajewole, not his real name, they hope that they can still achieve their dream of getting basic education before crossing to adulthood. Sharon Jason, TVC News.